Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to dance the Igbo trad. What will be this one when they distract my video? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to dance the Igbo traditional dance. For the first time on my channel, I'm going to be the one doing the tutorials. For my previous dance tutorial videos, I had to bring somebody to teach me how to dance and then um, you guys also learned in the process but this dance step I'm going to be the one teaching you guys at least I know this one this is one dance step that I'm somewhat good at so an extent though to an extent so that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys today when it comes to the Igbo tradition there are different dance steps there's one where they do like all those ones where they do leg they raise their leg and all of that I have no idea how that is done but it's, I think that one there, that one is rocket science, that one is hard. I'll probably find someone that knows how to dance like that and that will do the tutorial for us because I'm in the village right now so there's probably someone around that will know how to do that dance step. But the one I'm going to be teaching today is just this one where you're like, you know. <laughs> Some people call it the Owery dance step, Ego Owery. Ego is dance in Igbo so Ego Owery. Some people call it the Owery dance step but I don't know if that's like their main dance i don't know of any other major dance i only know that sometimes when it comes to the men and you know their gatherings and all of that they always do this one where they are like doing their you know all those things <laughs> but i don't know this one sha so that's i won't be teaching you guys that one for this dance dance <laughs> for this dance to turn out nice there are steps that need to be taken these steps are not compulsory but it just makes the dance look better and it will really look like the ego weary but if you're outside and you just feel like dancing you can dance whatever you have so the first step will be to get your wrapper which i have here so you get your wrapper and then you tie it i'm going to tie it in the easiest way i know how to tie a wrapper like all those Igbo village men <laughs> so this is i'm just going to do the easy way just take it like this take it in and then you're done that's all very very easy so you're ready then no you're not ready yet then the next thing will be to get your hanky your handkerchief there's this particular vibe that handkerchief gives to this kind of dance you know it just gives it that a physical feel that you need there's a big difference between how it feels now and how it was when I was dancing it before. Some people will wear, like say, if it's a traditional marriage, some people can wear a wrapper up and a wrapper down. Some people also add like bead to their wrapper. You just put a bead and with that bead, if you're hearing the cock crow, I'm in my village, and apparently the cock crows in the afternoon. So yeah. So some people also include beads, you know. But I don't have any bead now, so I'm just going to use my wrapper and my hanky and give you guys the dance step <laughs> so let's just start at this point you want to bend you must bend really really bend like this this is how you should be when you're dancing some people go lower but i don't know i usually stay up just know that you really need to bend sha so i'm going to teach you guys the leg movement this dance is fully dependent on the legs more of the legs than the butt, right? In fact, it's just about how you move your legs that's going to determine what's going to be happening here because we have a lot of this going on. So this is the leg movement. You go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you go, if you're going with the left leg, go with this leg first. This leg goes forward. It comes back to being straight. This goes forward comes back to being straight because when you bend your leg it also affects your waist so this is what takes this your waist down and it goes up it takes this down it goes up because the movement generally is like one two three four five so it's like down straight down straight down straight down straight right it's just like doing it's like doing this but there's a movement in between so it's not just that you're doing this right you can use this as a practice form because this is kind of how i learned it i was just doing this 
I'm doing this. Now you find out that there's a break somewhere. So you go do this, you break, you do this, you break, do this, you break, do this, you break. That's how it works. This is what I mean. Do this straight, do this straight. So when you're doing the dance step, you're not supposed to like be straight. Even though this leg is supposed to move forward more, the general posture is like you're bending like this and you're down. Right? Your knees are already bent. You're bending like this and your knees are already like bent. So you're not standing straight and doing like this. Your knees are already bent. But in this posture where your knees are bent, you're now taking this one forward and backward, forward and back to that position. So the main position is this, and then you have a bent knee. Then you now still have this forward, 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 forward. So I'm going to do it fast now. So I'm like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sometimes I might be doing like this and I'll still go down. Right? So your leg literally controls your butt and your waist. Another thing would be to not move your shoulder. It is not a shoulder dance. So you're not doing <laughs> you get it's a waist dance. Uku, waist, whatever. Try to make your shoulder stiff. There's also this one where people are just like this and they just shake continuously. They're just like But that one, you see that they're wearing beads and everything. So whatever they're wearing or the skirt that they're wearing has a lot of stuff. So it makes it shake. So they'll just be at the point and they'll be like That one is kind of like this stuff. Right? But there's no pause. It's like the same dance step, but there's no pause where you do pause, pause. You're just going like, but it's just you're focusing more on your butt. So let's do this. Another important thing to do is smile. Your teeth has to be wide open. It is part of the dance. You have to be like this. Even if you are not happy, you have to be like this. And you're like, what do you see all those dance? All those people dance people. They're always smiling. They're definitely not always happy, but they're like, who knows what I used to do this dance? They're like, so you have to smile. traditional dance it's not as difficult as it looks it gets better as you try it as in if you keep practicing obviously practice makes better so the more you do it the better you get and stuff it's not that difficult if you have a wedding if you have a traditional either you're attending or you're the one doing the traditional wedding and you do this it's something guys you give it to them, shake them, shake them, shake them, but then, but then they feel, ada, ada. everybody, they wait, ah, you come out in a grand style, guys, you cannot waste this dance step, you really need to learn it, there's just this fun and everything that comes with, why am I missing so fast, my god, the hamatan is making me dehydrated faster, so there's just this effect that comes with, you know, everywhere will just be cool and then you just appear. Don't just come out and be that one that will just be doing like this. No, you can't be. Give it to them, show them that you know it. So you're just coming out and giving them hey, 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 hey. and teach your girls to don't be the only one to shine. So you guys will come out, you know. <laughs> so that's it if you like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications so that I can get notified each time I post a video. Drop your comments. What do you think about this dance step? 
and i will see you guys in my next video bye